Second. It'll it'll beep you. Um, like if you get in your airspace, you're not supposed to really be around. Yeah. It'll beep really loud, so it sounds like it's in your headset, but you're you're not. Okay. Just checking the radio, make sure no one's talking to me. Because on a hazy day like this, you won't see a plane until right on you. Yeah. Company work. But this is pretty much the extent of VFR flight. I mean, you're kind of looking around. This is, yeah. I think it's the best kind. Yeah. VFR is fun because once you get on top, it's really beautiful. Everyone else is having a bad day down there. You get up and it's a sunny day because you're about to clap. That's nice. Yeah. But I really like seeing everything from up here. Uh, at uh, Stanford. Oh, okay. yeah. But you, you seem confident to inspire confidence. Oh, thank you. On a normal day, you'd probably start to see the river about now. But it's not a normal day. Now, the good thing is, with the visibility bad like this, uh, nothing good with the visibility, but normally it'd be a lot bumpier on a, on a day like this. Really? Yeah, we'd be bouncing all over the place. Um, when I took my check ride, it was a day kind of like this, um, it was a lot sunnier, and it creates so much updraft and disturbance in the air. Yeah. You couldn't keep a heading, you couldn't do anything. So he cut me a lot of slack as far as that went, but it was just really, really stressful. Yeah. Because I didn't know. There'd be a lot of times where I'd be pushed outside standards, and I could, nothing I could do about it. And I was just worried he was going to mark off, call me on that. Yeah. Yeah. So then are you going to go for your instructors after instructors? It's something I'm thinking about. Um, right now, really, I'm thinking a lot more about teaching. Uh, I'm oriented more that way, but um, it's something I like to do in the summers. Cause I, I like, I definitely like doing this. I like flying. Maybe you get paid to fly. It's even better. I see um, the river now. Yeah, there we go. But uh, one thing I, I'm, I've been thinking about for a long time, and I might. I might do it. Um, I might even mention it to you too. It's uh, paragliding. With a little, they they have these. Um, you're basically strapped to a parachute. And you have a little yeah. engine on your back. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, and uh, they're really popular on the like the beaches and stuff because yeah. there's, there's always a draft on a beach. Yeah, you can pick it up. And um, I don't know. I think that's the coolest form of flight because it's just you, you know. And I've got a DVD for you. It's Bear Grylls doing that yeah and he uh like beat the record for altitude on one of those yeah it's ridiculous yeah so that's that's what i'm thinking because um you know you can get a really nice one get set up really really nice for about the price of getting a rating so if i was to go instrument um you know, you're looking at another like four grand or so yeah and if i go commercial that's another you're putting another three on top of that if i forego those just buy a paraglider I can take it out to the park and on a nice day just go flying whenever I want to. Yeah, and but if you get your commercial, then you can make money, right? That's true too. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if I fit real well into the lifestyle of a pilot. Um, you know, I, yeah, I'm a single guy and I don't, I don't mind being single. So that's that's a plus as far as pilots go. But the like the really fast paced, all that stuff, I don't. I'm more of a slow, take it easy. So I'm not, not as keen about that. That's interesting. 
with what you got. Oh, is the airspace green here? Like, do you see those circles? Are they green? I can't tell. Yeah, I, yeah. All those little things? Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Uh, normally they're pink. I mean, nothing's wrong about that. I thought it was the polarization on my glasses that was causing it to turn a different color. What's green mean? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, uh... You're not helping me here, buddy. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The, the airspace um, is always kind of indicated by a certain color. Now, I know the airspace hasn't changed, so I'm not worried about it. It's just different. So what's the laws of here? Can you cross over into Indiana? Yep. Do whatever you, you want? Do whatever you want. Um, you know, you keep, keep mindful of the cruising altitude so you don't obviously hit anybody. But other than that, you can do kind of whatever you want to do. So now when we turn around and go back, are you going to have to hit another altitude? Because yeah. you're going in a different direction? Yeah, and then the other thing is I can, um, yeah, there's a little bit of wiggle room with that, because right now I'm climbing, so I can't hold a particular altitude. Um, now, if you want to do some maneuvers, um, no? Okay. Let's do it. You do? One in Rome. All right, so I'll do a steep turn to the left and a clear left real quick. Or right, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. And let's go into a steep turn. Oh, boy. There's an the overbanking tendency right there. I'm holding it off. Standing a little bit off the sea. I'm dropping nose some. There we go. That's a steep turn. Ooh. Feel those G's. Yes, yeah, sir. And we'll go right into one on the left. We're clear left, so I'm going to go in there. Uh, if this makes you queasy, don't feel bad at all about that. It's alright. My first time, I wasn't real excited about them, so. <clears throat> but again, I'm not worried, so you should be worried. I'll be with you in a minute. Alright. <laughs> Just kidding. There we go. Now, if you notice, we didn't really lose too much forward direction. We kind of came out right where we started. I love it. Now we're flying all over the chumps on the boats. What island? What island is it? That's 12 miles. 12 miles? Sure, yeah. And then what? There's 18 up the river. Is that the next one? Uh, there's six mile and 12 mile. There might be an 18 mile. I'm not sure. The only ones I've ever talked to, you know, on the radio, you'll tell them, you know, ham over 12 mile, I'm over whatever. Right. The visual checkpoints. Now this is an ammo depot over in Indiana right here off to the left. What does that mean? Uh, it's just where they're storing stuff, I guess. Various types of explosives and whatnot. Oh, okay, I got you. So don't smoke a cigarette down yeah, there. Yeah, don't, don't, don't crash land there. Right. Is that the, owned by the Army or something? Do what? Is that owned by the Army or something? I'm guessing so, yeah. They, for whatever reason, they put them along this river. There's a few. I don't know if that one's one, or, if that's one or not, but they have them spaced out. We're decently close to um, Clark County. Yeah, there's an airport there, isn't there? Yeah, that's right off. You know, it's uh, about six miles. But I'm actually going to fly past it. Come around and just talk to Bowman. Okay. Bring it on back down. Uh, I don't like the visibility seems to be dropping on some more. Okay. So. I don't want to be caught outside the rigs. There's Clark County Airport. Looks like a highway in the middle of nowhere. That's it. Yeah.